What's up guys, it's Nate from Team Ghost Sticker, and today we have another deck profile feed. This time we have, still with us, we have Aiden and Adam, um, and this time Aiden's going to be showing off his uh, Junk Synchro uh, profile, which is... Uh, jank Synchro, bro. Jank Synchro. Alright, it's a bit of a misnomer, <laughs> it's not as junk as it sounds. Um, so yeah, Aiden, do you, want to, do you want to talk us through the deck and kind of just tell us what it's supposed to do, and how good you think it is in the current format? Okay, so, uh, first of all, I play the one Apprentice Illusion Magician with the Magician Souls. Um, Apprentice Illusion because it's like, you know, it's it's a Needle Fiber Maker card, or Hockey Fibrax, uh, if you draw it, so it's not the end of the world. And Souls, it also pitches like your level ones uh, to set up for your junk plays, mm. which is nice. Um, then I play three Magician Souls. Uh, I had this idea because like, it's just, a deck thinner card like which also draws into like more engine that you need to and it also sets up for your junk synchron uh which is like the main heart and soul of the deck but it also like it's just insane like draw power um and it enables like relinquish anima plays going second and also like let you make needle fiber without your normal summon yeah it's crazy um, and like you have some going second cards in the deck i see that we'll get to later obviously yeah. you know if you're watching you can see them on the screen but we'll <laughs> we'll get to them later um but if you draw those going first you can just discard them and and, and get draws yeah, exactly. for free. like so nice it's also like it it just lets you play where art though which is like it's basically a power card in this deck because it's either getting you like a synchron resonator for later in your turn to like extend more or uh, recover or something like this you know it's um, kind of like a danger in a weird kind of way <laughs> yeah i guess and then i play three off warrior it's like it's the card that makes your combos just insane if you draw it um because it just it, it just lets you like keep synchro climbing and summoning tokens and then you make shaman and summon it back and then you keep going and going uh it just lets you like draw a lot of cards off librarian and make some nice synchros uh next Good we play th three junk converter this is like a really really good support card that we got recently enough it's kind of like a pen call for junks where it pitches a tuner uh, uh, uh and adds a synchron from your deck to your hand so it lets you add junk uh, synchron jet synchron or i guess rocket synchron but when are you ever going to do that <laughs> or else synchron carrier um it also sets up your junk play so like if you open like a uh, converter and junk synchron you can just pitch it and the junk get another one um and then summon back the junk and then a second effect lets you if you synchro with it you get to dispatch the tuner from your grave <laughs> so it just sets it sets you up really nicely for extending your plays yeah it's really good actually like the, this was in the the replay that we actually featured on the channel i think uh like last week or something um and it like I had to read it, and when I read it, I was like, "Wow, that's, that's actually really nice." I didn't know this card existed. So like, that, if it's new, that explains that. Yeah. And then it a card that most definitely is sensible. not new. Yeah. So now mm -hmm. we have junk. Um, as I said before, it's the main heart and soul of the deck. It like, it just like sets up for, like a lot of your power plays, and if you can hold this till like after you make needle fiber, it means if your needle fiber or Hockey Fibrex gets hand trapped, um, you can still play the game. And if it doesn't, you just extend like even more. Um, it's also like really nice to draw into late in your combo because you know you have a follow, -up, a follow -up play uh, for the next turn. So after this, I play uh, one Jet Synchron. This is mainly for the Hockey Fibrex, but it's also just a really good, um, like it's obviously the best one for Hockey Fibrex. It's also just got synergy with all the cards in this deck, and um, if you open like this and nothing else, you can still make Needle Fiber, Hockey Fibrex, Jesus. Um, <laughs> Same thing. Uh, uh, again, good lad. <laughs> this is for the Aerodon combo, but it's also just a good generic um, tuner that you can summon off Hockey Fibrex as well. Um, Summons that token, you know, da da da. Play one good. rocket synchron, this is for the quick launch. And I guess the one for one as well. <clears throat> so it's like you're playing four quick launch. Um, free tuner. This is just a free level one tuner, which is kind of what the deck revolves around. 
uh, being able to synchro climb and all that. Then I play one Synchron Resonator. This is because, so I was playing without this card at the very start and like with three Where Art Thou in the deck, it just enables Where Art Thou to be an extender rather than like a starter card. Like, so now it's both. Um, and it's kind of nice that it's a, if a Synchro Monster is on the field, so you can special it if you're playing against Adam Antipater as well. Um, then I play one Recover. This is kind of the same theory as playing the Resonator because it turns one for one into a, a extender as, as well as a starter. And it's just the kind of like since Glow Up Bulb and everything is banned, it's the best one to get off those cards because you can just pitch it with Jet or something late in your combo. And I play one Synchron Carrier. So he's pretty nice because you can get him off the Junk Converter. Like, that's why I just play one. Um, and he's also a uh, another level you can send off Axel Synchron, who's in my extra deck. And he just lets you kind of extend if you can uh, Synchro Summon while he's on the field, you get to summon a token for free. And I play one Despot 1. Uh, this is for the Neil Fiber Aurorodon combo. Uh, it just means, like, it does the exact same thing as what Jet would do, but you don't have to discard a card. So it's kind of nice going second or in those scenarios where you just don't have anything in hand to discard. Then I play one Mare Mare. This is like, you know, kind of... I don't know. I know we don't have Distrito anymore, but it's something you can do going second. If you get into Needle Fiber, you get to summon the Despot 1 or the Jet. Uh, make Aurorodon, summon the three tokens. Uh, Aurorodon Fact Special O-Line. Then you use the jet or the despot one or jet and the two of the tokens for Yazi, pop a card, and make Mare Mare. Just keep going from there. Then I play one for one uh, reborn, uh, self explanatory. One for one, uh, also self explanatory. Rhoda adds literally like Doppel or Junk. So it just... says here add one level four lower warrior from deck to hand. Yeah. Right. So you get you get to add converter, Doppel. Or junk. Wow. So good. Uh, Just fills up what you're saying, I guess. Exactly. Uh, one Foolish, uh, self-explanatory. A lot of these cards want to be in the grave. Uh, it's kind of a fifth copy of Doppel as well, because if it's in grave, you have a lot of ways to bring it back. And I play one e Telly. This is exclusively for the recover. Um, I think it's worth playing. It's kind of like the Speedroid Terra Top Attack at Homeburg package. Um, but I think it just, like, I think it, it, throughout the testing I've done, it's like, you know, solidified a spot in my deck. And it's also just, a, it's, I cited out going second along with the recover, because a lot of decks um, empty their extra deck, so recover's effect just becomes redundant going second. It's nice to have that easy side out as well. Yeah. Uh, then I play three tuning. This is also quite self explanatory. It's just like a consistency card. It also, like, Sometimes, like, you open it and, like, you might never play, but it will mill a monster for junk to summon. So it just kind of, like, it's kind of an, an enabler at the same time. Man, I bet that feels nice. Yeah, if you mill Doppel, you're just, just like, um, Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't happen a lot, but, you know, we take we take it if it. And we play three where after, though. Um. I guess like this, like I've explained this enough already. It's just kind of a starter and an extender. It gets you to souls. Like say if you open like um, a jet or like any of your level ones, and this like you're making a needle fiber and you're summoning souls to maybe draw into something. Or if you open souls on this, it's really nice because it means you get to search your resonator for later on. Special summon out. And play three quick launch it summons the rocket self-explanatory i play three lightning storm because i think in this format you just need to play some form of blowout card in your main deck and this is the kind of deck that struggles into back row so that's why i'm playing storm it's just it's like quite good overall card i think i'd rather main it over nibiru or um Dark Ruler. Yeah, and the beer can be kind of like hit and miss as well, like depending on the deck that yeah. you're playing against as well. So 
I guess it could be an evenly, but uh, then again, it's got synergy with souls. If you're going first, you can just pitch it off souls. Mm. And the last two cards in my deck, like these were the 39 and 40th cards. Well, I was playing Metal Force Fusion and an upstart for the souls, but I kind of just like I figured this was better because if you're playing the game, or like if you're not playing the game, you can just pitch this off souls, and you're gonna draw one anyway. And and then it, if if you do get to play the game and you draw the, into this late combo or like middle of your combo, you get to put your whole extra deck back in, or your yeah, all your extra deck monsters back into your extra deck that are engraved. Yeah, I believe in the the replay two. that we used of you, um, you linked off your your Huck of Fibrax or you tributed it or something, and then you just put it back in your extra deck and put it back or summon it again, and then you could yeah, exactly. summon your opponent's turn. Which yeah, is really cool. So it's it's nice against like. Uh, kind of grind your decks as well because it means and um, like even if you don't make the biggest board you can just like set up something and then uh, be able to play on your next turn because your extra deck is full again and the fact that like whenever you do like whenever you're doing your combo you draw so many cards you're probably going to draw into another uh, way to junk synchron through the tunings or the converters, converters or hard drawing junk itself it means that you just always have a follow-up play for the next turn. Cool. So then in the slide deck, I play uh, three anti-magic arrows. This card is insane. This, yeah, this card is crazy. It's like... Uh, so I play this for like macro heavy matchups like Altergeist and stuff like that. Um, so basically you just go into battle phase, use it. Then main phase two, you summon your Crystron Phoenix, which is uh, it's basically a synchro version of Trisbana. But it also banishes uh, spell and traps in the graveyard. Damn. Um, that's so it's just that's so good against that lower card. Yeah. That's so Excuse good. me. Then the next three cards I play are Gravity Claps. Uh, shout out to Stephen Martin. He's the one who brought this to my attention. Um, yeah. So this yeah. is basically my uh, Dark Ruler No More counter. So going first, I side out the Lightning Stars for this card, and your opponents get all excited because they drew the Dark Griller against your combo deck, and then you go, and then they go like special Pancratops, and then you chain this, and then they cry. <laughs> They're like, what does that card do? And then they, they scoop. Um, <laughs> next three cards are evenly matched. I think Man, this is the, also the, Just like back on Gravity cl Claps, like. <laughs> When I read this, I was like, "All right," and they get to summon to destroy the card. That's really good. And then I moved on. Then I was like, "Oh, back to him." I was like, "Wait, wait." There was more text I didn't read. Yeah, it's a vanities as well. It's a <laughs> fucking vanities. Like it's insane. That card is crazy. Great card. It's funny. Uh, it's actually better than vanities. Can't summon. Not even you can't special summon. You can't even normal summon. It's you like can't a heat even wave, to it right? either. Is that what Heatwave does? Mm -hmm. No, it, it's insane. Anyway, whatever it is, the card is crazy. <laughs> uh, next three is evenly matched. Um, again, same kind of theory as Lightning Storm. It's just good against X and Y deck. You know, it's like against Adam Manticore. You just keep in the storms to put this in. I bet anti magic um, evenly feels good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stonks. Uh, Pankatop is kind of like your blind side out. Blind side in, like a lot of people just scope whenever you do your combo. So you can just put this in and like, like you know, you've got Storm already. It's a generic card and evenly, but like, it, I I just like those cards that kind of you can bl uh, blindside in. And then I play three Gamma because as Adam talked about in his uh, Elich invoked deck profile, you mean podcast? It's, yeah, pod <laughs> podcast. <laughs> um, it's probably the best hand trap against Adam Mansipator because okay. like they go like Doki Doki effect you chain this it clears the rock on field so they can't use researcher and it also negates uh, the doki doki effect it's also just i guess good against random shit like you know um, use your researcher before you use doki doki stupid oh shit <laughs> nah, but then you uh, play the beer that. bro <laughs> so extra deck i'm gonna go right to left okay uh, that's just just how i have an organized Hot take all right all right we're so reading the Japanese, links, boys! <laughs> we have one Relinquished Anima. This was a uh, Link Rebo. Relinquished Anime. Anime, yes. <laughs> um, but, but 
but it became anima because it's just it's so much better going second and like the link rebo effect just barely ever came up anyways um and until people start playing around this card it's just gonna be like decent let me play a halky fibrax this card is just crazy it is like i wouldn't say like i i wouldn't go as far as to say like this deck relies completely on it but it, it's just a huge huge enabler for the deck yes yeah, like obviously it, 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 it takes the deck to a whole new level i'd say yeah exactly then paired with this we have the aurora dawn which is insane if anyone doesn't know like the combo if like say if you just have uh halky fibrax access you summon it summon despot one or jet synchron from deck link both of uh, those into Aurorodon. In fact, to summon your three tokens, tribute Aurorodon and a token off for your uh, O-Lion in deck. Then your Despot 1 will trigger from Grave, or else you summon your Jet Synchron from hand. You use two of the tokens in O-Lion for Savage. Then O-Lion summons a, a token, it's level three. And then your one tuner and your level three token makes your Herald. So resolving uh, Halky Fibrex on its own, and a Rodon, I guess, gives you a Savage and a Herald, which is really good in this format because Herald is really, really strong against Eldritch um, and all its variants, and then things like Mermail as well. And you're not playing um, World Sword, so I'm assuming the deck can kill very reliably. We're just playing uh, big monster in board. I was playing Sword, <clears throat> excuse me, but I just like didn't make it at all. Like, I was like, everyone was like, oh, play sword, play sword. And I was like, oh, sh sure. <laughs> so I tried it, and then I just didn't really make it. <laughs> so I decided to just play, like, more, like, uh, big synchros, I guess. Fair. Uh, then I play one formula. This, like, all, like, it doesn't always come up, but I feel like it's a necessary card to play. It's just, like, if you have Librarian on field, it's just a draw two. And it's it lets you do things on your opponent's turn like um like synchro into a you know whatever like crystal wing or something like that you probably yeah, can't nice. even do that nice. no you can't like say someone into a dragster or you know x or y card mm. but like it's also a card that you can summon off needle fiber so mm. that's part of the reason why i play it and we play one celestial double star shaman this card is crazy so um, insane so it, just, it sucks so much this card came out during master rule 4 yeah it's such a travesty <laughs> mm -hmm. so basically what it does is let you summon up to four uh level two non-tuner monsters from your hand or graveyard when it's summoned um so whenever you're doing your junk doppel combos you summon this then summon back doppel warrior and then use one of the tokens from Doppel and this card to make Marcher, which is the next card in my extra deck. Um, which when he's summoned, he specials a tuner back from the grave. So it, it just lets you synchro climb and get draws off Librarian at the same time. Extended so you're just gaining more and more advantage. And we play one Herald of the Arclight. Um, really good level 4 synchro. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about it. It's just... It's a macrocosmos and a negate. Like and then when great. you tribute it to negate, you can search Saravis to protect your Boral Sword. Boral Savage. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> if you're mad. I was for a while. Free and active your opponent of right. <laughs> That's true. You can also play it in Necros. Like, you can play the Despot engine in Necros. But anyway, we won't talk about that. Um, we play one Hyper Librarian. Insane card. Who likes drawing cards? I do. Uh, Axel Synchron. Just really nice to have a level 5 that is a tuner, and he's also a mo uh, level modulator, and will send Jet to Grave if you like don't access that through other ways, other means. Um, then we play one Brianak. Uh, I'm still not sure about this card, I'm just testing it out recently. Um, but with the amount of cards you amass while uh, doing your combo, it just seems like a no-brainer. Uh, this nice to have a level 6 synchro to make. Then I play one dragster, you know, self-explanatory, it's a big fast car. <laughs> fast car, um, say no brr, trap. Brr. <laughs> brr. Uh, I play one Yazzie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is, like, obviously for the Mirror Mirror plays, like, it's insane going second, you get to pop a card, and you get to extend from there as well. 
Uh, one bar load savage. This is also self-explanatory. It's just a you know big body who is going to negate negate cards. Like I don't know what to say about it. Level eight synchro. <laughs> uh, one crystal wing. Uh, this is for like I found a lot. Like I was only playing one level eight synchro, but I find a lot that you just needed like another one to make uh, in a lot of hands. And I figured uh, Crystal Wing would be the best because it's just uh, an out to a lot of problematic cards as well. And it's just a, mon it's a monster negate. Like, cards who doesn't like Crystal Wing? Yeah. And we have a new card from Etco as our last card uh, yeah, Ravenous Crocosaur. Well. Uh, he's really good. Like, there's times where you can go, like, Axel raises level by two with uh, Synchron Carrier. And then use two doppelwire tokens to summon this guy. So you get to draw two off him and then one off Librarian. So you're That's just drawing three and then he's Dryden't. Which is really useful oh, into the yeah. matchups. Yeah. Yeah. It's really useful into the matches where uh, Herald's specifically good because it just means you can protect it from battle a lot of the time. His um, art is also amazing. So like, yeah, he's for very, that. very cool. He looks like a, like a yeah. classic Yu-Gi-Oh card, you know? Mm. It's also just nice to have that level 9. Yeah, I'm sure. Yo, if you uh, make yeah, two of them, profile. you can go VFD. Yep. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Uh, Dinos, Here's where are you at? <laughs> Over, overlay Crystal Wing, Barlow Savage for 38. <laughs> Imagine. Right, so <laughs> Imagine doing that. that. <laughs> so, so the deck is obviously the very... One. The deck's obviously very complex. There's a lot of moving parts. Um... Yeah. Um, is it is it kind of hard to pick up, or is it easy enough to learn? Um, yes, I'd say it's really hard to pick up. Like I I still don't play it correctly, and I just know I know like I know I'm not, but I just feel like it's got a really good potential. Mm. And like I've played against a lot of uh, like the kind of tier one ish decks with it because like that's like what mainly my friends are playing, and it seemed to be doing like quite well. Like I was beating Orcus with it, I was beating Eldritch Invoked with it. Uh, Adam Emancipator is just kind of a die rolling matchup, like, but that's kind of fair because it's just a combo murder. Um, but yeah, I feel like, like, I wouldn't say it's a tier 1 deck, but I feel like it's, like, if it's piloted correctly, it could be, like, a really good deck. No, perfect. Well, thanks to the profile, Aiden. Um, and thanks everyone for watching. Uh, drop a like. Oh, uh, wait, one like more thing. Oh. Oh, uh, you have the I've been working on this with my friend uh, Isaiah, so shout outs to him for all the theory and also like any of the other lads, Adam, uh, lads from Team Ghost or your underground chat. I know I like haven't won anything with it, but <laughs> may as well give them a shout out for all the help anyways. Is Isaiah the guy you met on Dueling Book? Uh, no, I just no, met him like... Lab, right? No, I met him like in just like uh, Wolf Grounds, it's a, like a Dark Synchro type group. That's cool, man. And just started like theorying with him a bunch, and like I think I think we started talking because I asked him for like a uh, a dark warrior list, and now we started theorying it a bit, and now we just like theory quite often. That's cool, man. That's really cool. That was cool. Right. Well, um, that's any, any other shoutouts you want to give or? No, that's it. All right, I'll stop this thing up. So thanks everyone for watching. Um, drop a like if you like. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.